Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lectures of process modeling and simulation course. I am your instructor, Engineer Muhammad Haris Humayyoh, working as lecturer at Department of Chemical Engineering, Commerce University, Islamabad, Lahore campus. And the module which we are covering these days is the physical properties and thermodynamic modules. So our this lecture is related to the problem number five, which is related to the equation of states for non-ideal gas. Let me take you directly to this problem that how we will solve it, what are the simulation requirements and how to extract the results. There are three objectives of this simulation. Number one objective is that learn how to plot the specific property value of gas in the properties environment. Number two is knowing the utilization of graph function in S1 plus and number three is can observe the difference between ideal and Pengrobinson equation of state. Regarding these two, we have to study the problem statement that plot PV over RT versus P for hydrogen and oxygen at 30 degree centigrade by using ideal gas and Pengrobinson equation of state. So basically what you have to do, this value if you remember it's a compressibility factor. So basically you have to plot pressure versus compressibility factor for hydrogen and oxygen at 30 degree centigrade and you have to use two property packages, ideal property package and Pengrobinson property package. So you have to plot the graph of these two means ideal condition and non-ideal condition. The ideal condition will be explained or interpreted by the ideal gas or the ideal property method while the non-ideal behavior will be depicted by the Pengrobinson equation of state. And then you will you know how to utilize the graph function in S1 plus. So basically, you will have to do the pressure versus compressibility factor ka graph for hydrogen ke liye aur oxygen ke liye temperature condition aapko fix kar di gayi hai isme aur pressure ki condition ko aap vary karenge yani aap pressure ko vary karke with constant temperature aap uska compressibility factor pe analysis karenge aur ideal behavior ko observe karenge hydrogen ke liye aur oxygen ke liye aur similarly aap non ideal behavior ko observe karenge using equation of state jo ki hum pengrobinson ko leke chal rahe hain aur phir plotting bhi kar li graph ko bhi use kar li aur phir hum dekhenge ki dono mein kya difference hai basically and our this activity is related with CLO number 1 and CLO number 4 of this course. CLO number 1 is related to the basics or introduction of the course and the fundamentals and CLO number 4 is related to the analysis part. So we will be doing the analysis in this problem statement as well that we are analyzing the ideal and non-ideal behavior of gas. So first thing we need to do is to ensure that proper units are selected. Then we will select the components hydrogen and oxygen. Then we will select the ideal property package. And then we will go to the property sets. And in this property set, we will select the compressibility factor Z, which is PV over RT as we have discussed before. So how you can search it? Either you can write compressibility in the search type or you can write ZM and that is compressibility factor of mixture ZMX. After that, going to qualifiers and select the vapor phase because both hydrogen and oxygen exist in vapor phase at 30 degree centigrade. Then go to the analysis tab and since we are doing an analysis, so this is related to the CLO number 4 of this course. After this, click on new and select the type as generic. In analysis specification, since we are doing it without flash, there is no flash calculation involved. So we will select points without flash. And first thing which we will do is to select for hydrogen. Then we will go to the variable which is mentioned over here. And we will specify the temperature which is 30 degree centigrade. However, since we need to vary the pressure in this. So we will not specify pressure but we will give a range of pressure which is 0.1 to 20 bar and then we will run it and after running it we will get the plot and how we get the plots you see this plot is obtained i will show you how we can get this plot now this is the ideal behavior of hydrogen gas at 30 degree centigrade now repeat these steps means the previous steps by using Pengrobinson equation of state instead of 
ideal and once after using peng robinson equation of state by using the steps as we have discussed then we will merge plots to see the trend and you see this trend has obtained and similarly when we will do for oxygen then we will receive this trend at the end and if you see this is the real time diagram of departure that hydrogen behavior you can see the behavior is same as calculated from aspen and similarly tendency or the behavior of oxygen from the ideality is same as depicted by the aspen yani jo aapko literature mein value di hui hai ki hydrogen ki jo deviation hai ideality se wahi ideality deviation yahan pe bhi show ho rahi hai aur jis tarah ki oxygen ki aap dekhe deviation zyada hai to wo oxygen ki zyada deviation yahan pe show ho rahi hai similarly try for co so what i will do i will do it for hydrogen and oxygen and then you have to do it for carbon monoxide and if you find any difficulty then we can discuss in it in our interactive session so let's move to aspen plus and solve it in aspen plus as per the slides first thing is to check whether proper units are placed or not and you can even give the title of eos non ideal yes you can even give the title of your simulation and if you do not give this title there is no effect on simulation specification in components hydrogen and oxygen are selected click next or you can directly go to the methods select specification and select ideal and after selecting ideal click run and obviously the results are available then you have to go to the property sets click new ps1 it's up to you you can use any nomenclature ps1 is the property set one and then you have to click on search and as i have told you you can either search compressibility you can see compressibility factor mixture zmx or you can directly search zm and you will also get compressibility factor so click okay as you see once you have clicked it it has turned to blue and tick option is appeared it means minimum requirements have been met when the minimum requirements are not met you can see this is encircled and then select the phase as vapor because we are dealing with the vapor phase after that go to analysis in the same line click new and it's pt1 and in select type you can see there are four options generic pt envelope we will discuss pt envelope in our upcoming videos residue or tr diagram so it's a generic curve so we will select it points along a flash curve since we are not dealing with flashing so we will select points without flash and in component we have to specify the component flow since we are taking pure hydrogen and pure oxygen so first we will do it for hydrogen and then we will do it for oxygen so for pure hydrogen its mole should be 1 or even 100 as well there is no harm and fixed state variables that what are the fixed values if you go back to the problem statement then you see that temperature is fixed at 30 degree centigrade but pressure is not fixed because you have to manipulate the pressure to check the effect on compressibility factor so what you do you go back to aspen plus and specify temperature as 30 degree centigrade however you cannot specify pressure over here because it's not fixed you have to adjust it so what you will do you will come here to variables adjusted variable and select pressure and once you select pressure over here this pressure bar has been removed from here so you have specified one fixed variable and one adjusted variable now click on it and click on range list it is necessary otherwise if you do not click on it and just click on range list it will not appear specify limits lower bound 0.1 bar upper bound 20 bar with an increment of 1 bar and this button shows the next as you see this button is same as that of this and after that go to tabulate tab and select ps1 as selected and once after doing it click run and results are available you can go to results and as you see with increasing pressure there is no change in compressibility factor this is showing the ideal behavior of hydrogen using ideal property method if you want to see it in a graphical way so what you do you go to this parametric 
parametric means plot any variables you choose using a separate line for each value of the variable the parameter so click parameter on x axis obviously it will be pressure you cannot select compressibility factor because it is dependent on the value of pressure and parametric value is vapor compressibility factor select curve to plot vapor zmx compressibility factor and you see this is a straight line which shows the ideal behavior if i want to show now the non ideal behavior what i will do you have to listen it very carefully if you come to properties you see the property method selected is ideal over here but we want to select or we want to do it for peng robinson what i will do i will go to this analysis in this analysis pt1 is placed select pt2 and go to generic pt2 again doing the same steps i will quickly do it hydrogen is selected as 1 it's 30 degree centigrade with adjusted variable as pressure and in pressure range list 0.1 20 with increment of 1 bar and in tabulate select ps1 and in properties select as peng robinson and once after doing it run it and in results you see there is a deviation from ideality and how you can view it click on parametric vapor zmx and you see that the non ideal behavior is shown over here so these two are different graphs one is showing ideal behavior one is showing non ideal behavior but if you want to merge these plots then how will you do it it is very simple what you will do go to pt2 and this add curve is enabled add a new curve using configured variables to an existing plot what we will do we will add pt1 to this plot this one is a pt2 plot this plot is pt2 plot while this plot is pt1 plot so what we will do we will add curve pt1 results select all and if you see this is the ideal behavior which is shown by the blue line and this is the non ideal behavior which is shown by the green line however it doesn't look good in the representation and you see there are two y axis as well so if you want to show it on one y axis what you will do right click on it and go to y axis map single y axis and click okay and if you see it's now much better in representation that this one shows the ideal behavior and this shows the non ideal behavior now you have so far done it for hydrogen go to analysis click new again generic okay points without flash and now doing for oxygen you do not have to generate ideal for oxygen it will be the same as that of the nitrogen go to variable 30 degree centigrade प्रेशर एंड इन प्रेशर सिलेक्ट द रेंज अच्छा इसी में मैं आपसे बात करता जाता हूँ मीन वाइल बनाते हुए कि अभी जो मैंने आपसे बात की है कि आपको ऑक्सीजन के लिए आइडियल बनाने की जरूरत नहीं है आप बनाएंगे तो भी प्लॉट वैसे ही दिखेगा आप नहीं भी बनाएंगे तो भी प्लॉट वैसे ही दिखेगा सो so, आपने पी एस वन सिलेक्ट कर लिया प्रॉपर्टीज में जाके आप यहाँ से पेंग रोबिन्सन सिलेक्ट कर लें बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट टू नॉट चेक द नॉन आइडियल बिहेवियर द आइडियल बिहेवियर फॉर हाइड्रोजन फॉर ऑक्सीजन फॉर सीओ विल बी द सेम द सेम लाइन बट द नॉन आइडियल बिहेवियर विल बी द different so run it and go to the results and you see this is the non ideal behavior of oxygen gas click on parametric again the same vapor zmx select all and you see the trend which you have obtained from here and if you want to merge this line in the previous plot what you will do you will go to pt3 remember this one that you have to go to the results and then add curve add curve in pt1 click okay and you see you are getting the three lines the ideal line the blue line the green line the pink line and if you want to show it in a single graph the y axis map with single y axis click okay and you see the same trend has been obtained as i have shown you in the slides let me take you back to the you see this is the same behavior or the same trend which i have obtained here or which is showing in the literature you have obtained the same trend in s1 plus let me take you back to the s1 plus that this line shows the non ideal behavior of oxygen gas this line 
so the non idle behavior of hydrogen and this is the idle curve now i would suggest you to include carbon monoxide in the list and add an other pt and then merge in the graph to see whether you get the same results as that of literature or not so that's how you observe or you calculate the non ideal behavior or you plot the non ideal behavior of gases using equation of state in sprm plus so that's all for now from my side thank you if you have any queries we will discuss in interactive session